Welcome to Frank Bruno Law. I am Frank Bruno. I'm an elder law and probate attorney in New York. Today's topic, can a revocable trust assist you in avoiding guardianship? Yes, it can. Before I fully give you an answer, if you need to speak with me, please go to frankbrunolaw.com. When you have a properly funded trust, a revocable trust in, in the example that I'm giving, it can avoid a court-appointed guardianship process. A power of attorney perhaps can do the same thing or get you closer to the avoidance of a guardianship. However, some financial institutions are reluctant to give principal. Uh, sometimes they call into question the power of attorney. And many financial institutions are more willing to work with a successor trustee. So uh, oftentimes what we'll do with a revocable trust is we'll have the grantor of the trust also being the trustee. And, and that's permissible uh, with a revocable living trust. But then inside of the document, we have a successor trustee. In the event that the first trustee, the maker of the trust, becomes incapacitated. The successor trustee has all of the uh, powers and rights of the trustee and lending, uh, not lending, well, maybe lending, but financial institutions are more willing to deal with the successor trustee than they will uh, an agent in a power of attorney. So a, uh, the answer to today's question is if you have certain language, clauses, uh, protective measures inside of a revocable living trust, you can, in fact, uh, prepare and plan for the eventual or possible incapacity of a person. Right? So if you want to uh, make a plan, check it twice, find out who's no <laughs> naughty or nice, yeah. Come on and speak to me. This is the call to action. Make an appointment. We'll have a phone call. I'll do my best to give general information and answer any specific questions that you have. Thanks. FrankBrunoLaw.com. FrankBrunoLaw.com.